visiting Vatavice, where St. John Paul II grew up. We're walking pretty much in the same streets that he was walking. We got to know him as a young person. We went to eat his favorite dessert. We started off the day by having some uh, kremufka, which was really good. Uh, I think I had one and then half of another one. It was very good, and I heard that he had this challenge with his friends. They would eat as many as they could, and whoever had to drink something would lose. But then I also got ice cream thanks to, I think, uh, Sister G and then Sister Inga. If you get two scoops, you get one free We were really eating with him as well during this pilgrimage. And we went through his home, which is now a museum, and it was amazing just to see all the items from his childhood and his youth and the different things that his family had used during their time there. That was where JP2 grew up, where he was born. And it was a very simple house, and we got to see where his dad would kneel down and pray. And that was very influential for him. So we got to see the beginnings of his spiritual life. He would describe it as a, a seminary, his own home as a seminary. And then also like have that view. You could see that, uh, was it a sun clock? Or he would look out that same window and then get to see, get to also hear the bells. It was something I was really looking forward to. I wanted to hear the bells. The same bells that JP2 would hear growing up. We got to see like, all these cool pictures like when we were making our way down to the second floor, which I'd never seen of him before, and it just goes to show you how much he loved like the, the nature, the outside, and hiking and all that, so it was really great. And I was just so surprised at the proximity of St. John Paul II's family and the church. It kind of highlighted the family's desire to be united with God. I wish I had a church that I could walk up to, you know. It was so beautiful to be able to visit his home and then to go and pray in the church where he was baptized. And my favorite part about that was praying by his baptismal font. This is where John Paul II was baptized and where he received so many of the sacraments. So it was just a very holy day with JP2. And in the evening, we went to the evenings with Merciful Jesus in Poland, where it all started. Here at the JP2 National Shrine in DC, and they hold this event, the evenings with Merciful Jesus. And that's where all of us on the pilgrimage got to know each other. And that's how we knew about this pilgrimage, how we were invited. We're all excited for this because uh, we've been talking for a while, but then actually going to experience where it all started. So it was, we we're all excited for that. And it was so beautiful to have Mass said in the Sisters Chapel by this brand new priest who was super excited to be there. I think the thing that touched me the most was during Mass, they had beautiful, beautiful music led by the sisters and some of the young people there. It was mostly in Polish, but then randomly they would have English lyrics. And so that was such a gift that they prepared music for us to be able to participate more fully in the Mass and to just worship and adore our Lord together. I experienced one of the most beautiful Masses that day. The choir completely struck me. I really, really think that I was hearing angels sing that night. It really helped me get into a spirit of prayer. And we're able to bring all of the intentions that we have been carrying with us throughout the pilgrimage and give them to the sisters there at the shrine. Um, so it was really special to bring those into the sacristy. Not only were we praying for all these intentions of our family and friends, it, it was just really neat to visually see the prayers in the altar. These are for you. All these people are asking of you. All these people are in need of you and they love you. After Mass, we were able to talk to a lot of the young adults. The cool thing is that most of them knew English. It was pretty easy to communicate with them. And it was just so beautiful to share with other young adults about the faith and to kind of hear my fellow pilgrim stories and experiences.
but I felt very united with them through GP2. So it was great to meet them in person and spend time getting to know them a little bit better. We also sang to them. It was a nice closing of all our pilgrimage. And it was bittersweet too because I didn't want to come back. I, I wanted to stay. Thank you. And we love Poland. We love Poland. We love Poland. <laughs> to me